Hey, my name is Darius Yagi, and this is my Arduino-based DIY game console, the Inukid Vision. It currently has eight games, Snake, Pong, Flappy Bird, 2048, Simon Says, Dino, Drawing, and the Joke Game. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so before I demonstrate the console, I want to first explain how I made it and show you the parts that I used to make it. Right off the bat, this is a custom 3D case I made using an online CAD program called Onshape. Looking at the exterior, the console consists of a 3.5 inch LCD display, a PS2 joystick, two buttons, an on off switch, and direct access to the programming port from the side. Let's take a look at the inside of the console now. On the inside, you can see that all the components are connected to an Arduino Mega, which is the brains of the whole console. I programmed all the games onto this microcontroller using their IDE and C++. There is also a 9-volt battery here that can easily be replaced by sliding it in or out. Now for the fun part, let's check out the games. When I turn on the console, it puts me on this main menu where I can access any of the 8 pre-programmed games using the joystick. To enter a game, I simply press the yellow button on the right. Once I'm in a game, I can quickly exit by pressing the red button, or I can restart the game by pressing the yellow button. Most of the games are meant to be played vertically like this. However, for the sake of this video, I will be demonstrating them all horizontally. With that out of the way, let's take a look at each game separately now. First game is a classic snake game. To start, I simply swipe the joystick and I start moving. The goal in this game is to maneuver the snake using the joystick to eat as many apples as I can. The game ends as soon as I hit my own snake body, which increases every time I need an apple, or if I hit the wall. The next game is a simulated table tennis game called Pong. To start, I again swap the joystick up or down and my bat moves. The goal in this game is to keep the ball in play and to trick the computer into missing. I have to use sharp angles by hitting the edge of the bat to trick the computer. I have 4 lives in total, and the game ends as soon as I lose all 4. The next game is the well-known Flappy Bird. To start, I click the yellow button and I keep clicking it to keep the bird in flight against gravity. As I do that, there are randomized pipes that move forward trying to hinder my progress. The goal here is to not hit the ground, sky, or pipes, or else I will lose. The next game slash application is the drawing app. In this app, you can draw by moving the joystick. When you press the yellow button, you enter the cursor mode, where it doesn't draw but allows you to move your cursor across the plane. You can use the numbers on the bottom to figure out where your cursor is when moving in this mode. If you press the red button, there is an eraser feature that allows you to erase parts of the drawing. Finally, to exit the app, you have to simultaneously press both the red and yellow buttons. The next game is 2048. In this game, you swipe the joystick to try and merge horizontally or vertically adjacent colors. You keep swiping to merge and create the rarest colors, where red is the most common and purple is the rarest. The game ends when there are no empty spaces or adjacent colors to legally merge into. The next game is a memory game called Simon. In this game, you start by clicking the yellow button which flashes one square. In this case, the green square flashed. You have to memorize the square, select it, and then press the yellow button to get the next round square. In each round, the computer randomly selects a new square and, after it shows you the path, you have to memorize and recite it back to the device. The objective of the game is to memorize the most squares and get the highest score. You lose if you mess up the order or select the wrong square for that round. The next game is a dino game based on the one from Google. To start, I hit the yellow button and my character jumps. The object of this game is to press the yellow button to jump over cactuses to get progressively faster and more numerous as the game continues. You lose if you hit a cactus. And last but not least, the final game slash application is the joke app. Each time you open the app, it presents you with a new joke.
Then, if you want to get a new choke, you can press the yellow button to get a random one. You can then share the choke with your friends and family. And that's my game console, The Vision. If you liked it, please leave a like down below and comment your thoughts. I'm interested in hearing what you guys have to say. Currently, neither the code nor the cat file is open source because I'm looking to add optimization updates and new features like a buzzer. This is certainly not the last video of this project, so if you want to see more of this and other cool projects, be sure to subscribe. And that's really it. Thank you guys all for watching and be sure to stay in tune for updates. Bye.